degree days. All right, so this is always a, a, one of the more complicated concepts to comprehend, a little, a little bit of alliteration there. But what I've created here is a chart and I'll upload this to Blackboard uh, in the Excel format so you can look at it if you're having trouble seeing it now on the screen, you can uh, download the Excel spreadsheet. But essentially what I did was I made up a, uh, um, a chart that has 30 days in it. So each row represents a different day and each column represents a different hour of that day. So on day one, I took a temperature reading at one o'clock in the morning and at noon, the temperature at one was 20, the temperature at noon was 50. So I have two uh, readings. So I add those two numbers together and divide it by the number of readings that I took. So on day one, I only have two readings. So I add those numbers together and divide that by the number of readings that I took. So two, that's been my average temperature. On day one is gonna be 35 degrees. On day two, I took three readings. So at one o'clock, it was 20 degrees out. At eight o'clock, it was 40 degrees out. And at two o'clock in the afternoon, it was 55 degrees out. So I add these three numbers together and divide that by the number of units that I had. So I have three units here, divide it by three. And my average temperature for that day was 38.33. And every day I added another number. So on uh, day three, I have four numbers, one, two, three, four. So I add the sum of those numbers up and divide by the uh, number of units that I've added together, which is four. And that goes all the way down to uh, day 22. And then at the, at the end of 20, day 22, I only have 23 numbers. For the rest of the month, I took a reading every day because I have 24 hours to read there. So I took a reading every, every hour. And this is my average temperature, which is the sum of the row. How many readings did I take? 24, what's the total number? And divided that by 24, because I have 24 numbers there. And that gives me the average temperature. So now we take a look at the day 30. This is my average temperature chart that shows me what the average temperatures were for that day. Um, and so now, we want to find the degree days for a particular day. What's the average temperature? We subtract that number from 65, and that gives us 30 degree days. Day two was 38.33 was the average temperature. So I subtracted that number from 65 to get this number. That's how many degree days we had on this particular day, which was day number two. And we go same all the way down, 65. We subtract 43.5 from 65, and that gives us this many degree days. 42.2 from 65 gives us this many degree days. And so if I want to know on any day how many degree days we have, I can look at it. Or if I want to know for the total month how many degree days we had, and this was a very cold month, we had 1,001.85 degree days. So if you remember back at the calculations for just the hourly, the formula is Q equals U times A times Delta T. So the total BTUs uh, for, for the hourly is Q equals U times A times Delta T. For the annual, after we've gone through and we've added up the heat loss for all of the Qs in the entire project, we have a total Q, uh, but that has the uh, Delta T in it. So what we want to do is get the delta T out of there. So we divide that total Q by delta T, and that gives us simply U times A. Whatever that number was, remember we take our total Q and we divide that by delta T, and that will give us the U times A that we want to use in the annual. And the total annual heat loss was, would be U times A times degree days, the total degree days, whatever that was, if we're just doing it for the month, we'd use this number. If we're doing it for the year, we'd use the total degree days. And then remember there's 24 hours in the day. This is the average temperature for one hour, or, uh, but there are 24 hours in a day. So we need to multiply that times 24. So this would be our annual U times A times degree days times 24. 
will give us our annual heat loss. And we're really concerned about the annual heat loss because uh, one day we don't pay our utility bills for just one day or for one month, but we pay our utility bills for the entire year. And so that's a brief explanation of uh, degree days, which is a, a difficult concept. Now we, as Professor Bobker said in the third class, we don't actually calculate the degree days uh, as individuals, some uh, government uh, organization has done this for us for several years, for every single day, and they may have taken their, they may have taken four readings every hour. So their number is going to be even more accurate than uh, than our ours would be if we calculated it ourselves. But we go to a chart and we find what the degree days for a particular area are, and that allows us to figure out what our annual heat loss is for a particular area based on the degree days of that area. 